you would like to help to support FIFA Career Gems, you now can by heading over to my Patreon page. You will receive some exclusive rewards from FIFA Career Gems. Link will be in the video description. Now, firstly, I will confess I don't use my Youth Academy every single FIFA career mode, but when I do decide to use it, I use these simple tips to help me to get the best young players available. The first tip is quite an obvious one, it's to try and employ 5 star, 5 star scouts for your youth academy. Now that is easier said than done if you're using a team with a low budget, so it's a good idea to use the money glitch that I've done here, or to use a financial takeover if you have any of those available. And the reason for needing so much budget is you're going to go into your youth staff screen, hire a scout and you're going to go for the most expensive scout available. And then what you're going to do if he's not a 5 star 5 star is simply fire him. So obviously you're spending money pretty much just throwing it away. Hence the reason for needing such a big budget. And there you can see he's not 5 star 5 star, fire. And what happens then is the replacement should be of the same or better quality. And there you can see again he's still not a 5 star 5 star, so hire and fire and you keep repeating this process and so on until a 5 star 5 star becomes available it might take quite a while or you might strike lucky and hit it pretty early on after eight attempts and a lot of my budget wasted on hiring and firing scouts I finally revealed a 5 star judgment 5 star experience scout Lorenzo DeWitt from the Netherlands this time I'm gonna hire him but definitely not fire him the next thing to do at this point is save your game. And it all depends on how many Youth Academy Scouts you want to how many times you repeat this process. For the illustration purposes of this video, I'm going to get a full team of three five star, five star Scouts. And here you can see I've dropped on my final one after probably an hour of trying. I've finally got a full three strong team of Youth Academy Scouts that are all five star experience and five star judgment. So at that point, now I'm happy with my scouting setup, I'll save the game yet again. The next job is to send your scouts out to the countries. It's very important that you keep an eye on the date of the month your scout reports will be returning on. This is very easy to do by going back into the youth staff screen and looking at the date your scout will be returning. There you can see at the bottom the first and the second. That means on the first and second of every month for the three months that your scout is deployed, he will be sending you a scout report. It's very important that you do this. That will become apparent later on. I'm not looking for any players in particular, so I'm just going to select any type of player. So that's all three scouts deployed. One to Brazil, one to Portugal, and one to England. The scout reports to return on the first, second, and third of every month. So now you can play your career as you would normally, but for the illustration purposes of this video, I'm going to sim to the day before the first scout report is due to arrive. The first scout report is due on the 1st, so I've simmed to the 30th of April. Now it's very important at this point that you save your game yet again. What this does is this saves just before the scout is due to return any players. If you're not impressed with any of the players in the first scout report that your scout sends, simply drop back on the save and load up some more. Some people call it cheating, I call it bending the rules to our favour. So the day finally arrives where the first scout report's in, scroll over to the office inbox, there you can see the scout report is now available. Because our scout has got 5 star experience, we should always expect to see at least 5 players in our scout report. What I'm looking for is for players over 16 years of age, the reason for that will become apparent later on in the video, and players with a potential bracket of between 70 and 94. None of these players are appealing to me whatsoever. I'm simply going to come out of this game and drop on the save just before the scout report was returned. Cheating? Nah, like I've already said, bending the rules to our favour. So load up the old save from the day before the squad report arrives. Go back into the inbox and a whole host of new players should be available. Again, there should be five at least to choose from. This one's a bit more like it, 16 years of age, 73 to 94 potential, definitely one to keep an eye on, even though his overall looks quite low. No, he's only 15, reject him, 15, reject him. Seventeen but low potential, sixteen but again not a very good potential, so I reject them. So now I've got one player I'm quite happy with. And if you look into your youth academy, there he is, Renato Perea. So now it's time to do the most important thing yet again, save your game. 
repeat this process for the scout reports if you've got players you're interested in add them to your youth academy if not load up the previous save and try again so here we are my final scout report coming in from shane stewart who was scouting in england jordan clark potential too low reject lewis hill good potential right age definitely add him to the youth academy potential too low 15 years of age reject potential too low decent potential right age add him to the youth academy as well to keep an eye on and reject again so now you should have got quite a few players in your youth academy and here is the reason why we need them to be 16 they can all be promoted to the senior squad which means we can investigate them further for things like a potential tag the work rates and the weak foot and skill moves most people at this point go straight over and have a look see if they've got good work rates or weak foot personally i'm the other way inclined i like to look at their potential tags if they're not showing great potential exciting prospect or has potential to be special i'm not interested in the play so it doesn't really matter what work rates they've got or what weak foot or skill moves they have so i'll nip straight into the squad hub and the players i've just promoted to the senior squad scroll down and find them harrison collins at the club since that means he's potentially to lewis hill has potential to be special meaning his potential will be 91 plus so he's definitely one i'll be keeping in my team Looks absolute beast, already 60 rated. Now you can see he's only at the club since so his potential would be below 80, so we'll sack him off. Scroll down and find the midfielders. Tavares and Perea both at the club since, so they will both get binned. Using this process, I've found some gems already. Petrac from Croatia has potential to be special, already 62 rated. Got three star skills and a three star weak foot. Corbet from France, left back, exciting prospect. Three star skills and a three star weak foot, not bad for a left back at all, already 62 rated. Goalkeeper Ortiz from Spain has potential to be special, 66 rated already. We've already seen Lewis Hill has potential to be special as well. Two star skills and a three star weak foot, which is pretty good for a centre back. Can play in a couple of positions as well. The final youth academy player we promoted is Diego Menendez. Has potential to be special, meaning his potential will be 91 plus. Well, this is the highs and lows of youth academy scouting. He's only got one star skills and a three star weak foot. Not exactly what you want from your winger. Already up to 60. 7 rated like I said right at the beginning of this video the youth academy is not something I use on a regular basis for my FIFA career modes but when I do I use these tips and usually find some absolute gems along the way so I hope you enjoyed my tips for youth academy scouting and as always thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my YouTube uploads FCG out